Hi, this is Bob the Sound Guy, and today I want to talk to you guys about microphones. Um, we have, uh, whenever we get a technical writer from a client, uh, these are some or all of the microphones that they will ask for on their rider. So let's just dive right in. The first one is the Shure SM57, or I'm sorry, the Shure SM58. Uh, this is used primarily for vocals. Um, you can use it, uh, it's mainly a live mic uh, because you don't have a whole lot of problems with feedback in your monitors with this type of mic just because of the way the pattern is. Um, you can pick one up for about a hundred bucks. Um, so, and most of the, some of the people that you, you have used the SM58, pretty much everybody in the rock and roll world from Led Zeppelin to The Who, Roger Daltrey uh, sings exclusively through an SM58, U2, bon, uh, Bono sings through an SM58. So, these are awesome and they're pretty indestructible. Its compatriot is the Shure SM57. And this is primarily an instrument mic. Uh, primarily people use this for snare drums. Uh, you can pick one of these up for around 90 bucks or so. Um, pretty much every snare drum track, in the, you could use this for studio or live, pretty much every snare drum track that you've ever heard on any album was mic'd with a Shure SM57. Same thing, uh, guitar cabinets, guitar amps, same thing. It's the, the pretty much the industry standard for a guitar cabinet mic. Uh, proximity effect is really, really good. It beefs up guitars really well. So, and these are a pretty much indestructible mic as well. Anybody who's anybody has used one of these or one of these. The next one I'd like to t show you guys is, this is the Sennheiser MD421. Uh, for some of uh, my older viewers, if you remember Hollywood Squares, uh, back in the days, back in the 70s, if you remember all of the, the people, the celebrities, they all had one of these in front of their mouth. Um, this is primarily an instrument mic, uh, although it's great. It's great on bass. Um, if you want to mic a bass cabinet, excellent on bass drum. Uh, I've used it on vocals, used it on horns. Um, this is just a great all-around mic. But what it's really known for is for micing tom toms in the studio. Pretty much every it's it's pretty much every tom tom you've heard on a on an album. It was mic'd with a uh, MD421. Uh, these are a little more expensive. Uh, these are around $400 a piece. Um, so you can use that either for the studio or live. The next one I want to show you guys is the AKG C451. Once again, this, this mic can be used either live or in the studio. This one here, th this is what's called either a pencil mic. Uh, it is a condenser, so you do need phantom power uh, to power this. These are a little expensive too. These are about four four hundred fifty dollars. Uh, you can get them in a matched pair. That's usually runs you in about the thousand eleven hundred dollar range for a matched pair of these. What they're primarily used for is either drum. I like them personally for drum overheads. Uh, people use them for hi hats. Uh, or you can use them in piano. Piano, these are really nice piano mic. They're very little, very, very little unknown secret is a lot of guys use these for piano mics. So they have a very, very, very fast response. They're very smooth sounding and they, they go the whole audible range of 20 to 20,000 hertz. So there's that. This, uh, this is the Neumann. KMS 105. This mic uh, is used by many, many, many high-end vocalists. Works really well with female vocalists. This is a very expensive mic. Uh, you can. It's primarily used live because of the the pickup pattern. It's called a hypercardioid pattern. So whatever you point it at, say you point it straight at your your mouth, it will pick up just there. So the the feedback um, quotient is very minimal on these extremely extremely natural sounding mic you got to really know how to use one of these unfortunately <laughs> to make it sound perfect uh, David Bowie uses one of these Allison Krauss uses one of these um, Nora Jones uses one of these uh, these are about seven hundred dollars but you get what you pay for with this particular mic the Neumann is one of the very highest end makers of studio microphones the average Neumann 
uh, microphone will run you two to four thousand dollars. So uh, for the live thing, this is a really, really great microphone. Great for female vocals. One of my one of my favorite all time mics. This is called the Bayer Dynamic M88. Uh, this particular microphone, uh, a lot of this was used a lot for vocals, but in recent years, sound engineers have found that the bass response and the low end response on these is very is particularly good. Um, they get used to mic bass cabinets. My favorite use for one of these is kick drum. It just has an astounding sound for kick drum. Uh, some engineers will use this in conjunction with a, um, a, a much larger microphone to catch the lower end of the kick drum and then they'll point this in the kick drum to get the more of the attack. I personally have used this as just the sole mic in a kick drum. Once again, this is a little bit of expensive mic. It's about $400, $450, but they are just great. Uh, they're a great vocal mic. Uh, I worked with one uh, lady in particular who uh, she said, you know, I, my favorite mic is, is what you have in the kick drum for, for this particular uh, concert I did. And I didn't believe her. I actually handed her this mic, and she thought that this was going to be the great mic for her. We ran her through the system, and she's like, it just doesn't match my voice. That's another thing. Would you use different mics for different voices? They make so many different mics to fit everybody's voice. So you really got to kind of know what mic is going to fit your voice. So, so we used this. She didn't like it. She's like, that's my mic, and you have it in the kick drum. I pulled this out, took the EQ off the console, and it sounded perfect. I needed no EQ. No compression, just a little reverb. This was her mic for her voice. So, anyway, the Bayer M88, that is one of my most versatile and favorite mics in the world. Sounds great on uh, guitar cabinets, too. I've used this in the studio for guitar cabinets. Another industry standard is the AKG C414. Uh, this mic here you can use for, it gets used for a lot of different things. Once again, this one takes phantom power uh, to, to use, and it usually comes with this very expensive shock mount. Um, and you use this for uh, vocals in the studio. Uh, you can use this for drum overheads in the studio or live. A lot of guys, I like these uh, in particular uh, whenever I'm doing jazz live uh, as overheads on a drum set because it picks up everything. Instead of having to mic every ind individual little drum or everything, I use this to catch everything, and I put, put a pair of these over the drums. Piano, they sound phenomenal on piano. Um, they sound great on horns, uh, and, uh, and they sound great on strings. So, and there's, it has different pickup patterns on it that you can switch. So you can use it for a myriad of different, uh, different ways. These are a little cost prohibitive. Once again, uh, these usually run about $1,000 uh, a piece. So if you want to get a matched pair, it's probably around $2,100 for a matched pair. But uh, these things are just great. Uh, I, they're one of the most versatile mics in my arsenal. So there you go. Those are some of my most favorite mics that I like to use. Uh, so there. So go out. Uh, if you cannot afford these, you can always find a rental company that has some of these in stock, and they'll rent, rent them to you for a whole lot cheaper than they can be bought. Uh, but I always suggest if you really, really want something, you can afford it. So anyway, take care. See you next time.